afternoon guys so two weeks back uh, I did promise uh, to do a recording where I'll be showing you how you can uh, harness your skill like how you can improve uh, your skill of uh, being in a position to to see a setup before it actually pans out like to see the levels or the point of interest or your premium or your discount areas that uh, will provide opportunities and how then you can utilize them uh, in real market data because for some it's a very difficult uh, it's a very difficult thing to do to see uh, say a market maker buy model panning out or a market maker sell model panning out to see that with the naked eye uh, and uh, with the live data as in live price action for some it's very difficult some do not know how to approach that so what, what I've decided to do is uh, we've got uh, our platforms whether you're using mt5 mt4 but there's also one platform called c trader almost most brokers now they provide uh, c trader unless if it's one of those brokers i'm not gonna go into detail with that so with c trader it's got uh it's got a facility or uh what are, what, are, what can i say yeah, it's got a facility that you can utilize to to replay market data, right? That is uh, for your hindsight study, for you to be in a position to to improve your trading model, to see what happened before and what would have happened after. So the hindsight study on C Trader is. Uh, is uh, much better because you've got the replay button mt5 does have an indicator that you can use but that one is not for free but c trader is for free and for those who don't have c trader i'm going to include the link in the description below so that you can open your demo account c trader and then you can also practice your hindsight study to see uh market maker models panning out whether it's a buy or a sell model so this is the platform right obviously uh, it's a demo uh, I'm doing hindsight study I'm showing you something that you can utilize so that's for study purpose so with the C trader we've got this button here uh, on your left margin it's called a market replay button so that button what it does is when you click it it gives you the opportunity to highlight where you want to start your replay from so you can see market close right here at 1.270 if you want a replay say from uh, 11 january which are these uh, lows here this accumulation that happened here and price pushed up if you want a replay from that you also select that but i'm not gonna go that far I'm just gonna start say from uh, uh, let's say from this level here right from this down close candle right here because the reason why I'm choosing that level is I want to show you how you could have benefited from this move to the upside this trade right that's the trade that I want to illustrate so I'm going to highlight there then it's gonna pop up with your market replay options uh, this is the amount you need you can put any amount that you need there it's a demo it's a practice account and then it's showing us our replay is gonna start from the 15th of January 2024 4 p.m. right and then the data is m1 bars from server opening price and this is the speed of the replay so I'm going to start it with the, the speed of 500x we can always increase that once the replay starts so then you click on 
start then it loads the data right once it loads the data okay let me pause it here you can see that at the top left corner we've got pause stop and then fast forward then this is our uh, play uh, button like you can jump to the next candle and then top right we've got our speed then we've got our new order window where you can place a buy or sell or even uh, uh, your limit orders which is what i'm going to illustrate so i'm just gonna remove what's on on this chart here right so that we're dealing with a blank chart then i'm just gonna extend so whatever you do here it's just the basics you see your top-down analysis so basically we are on h1 right we want to look for opportunities right so after you have the chart loaded then you can play so you can see now we are replaying from uh, let me grab my kesa so you can see here this is uh, 15 january 2024 and price is now replaying up until it reaches a current price uh, of the market so we're on 500x if we want to increase the speed you can just use the up arrow you can see that it starts moving quite fast right so what then do you need to see in terms of uh, your market structure or in terms of the setups that you're looking for right so currently let me let me pause it a bit so currently you can see that we've got these laws here that have been formed right price is just consolidating above uh, those laws right it's just consolidating whether it's accumulating or distributing we don't know yet what we need to see is displacement in either direction right we need to see displacement like what we saw here you see we had a displacement to the upside price retained then pushed up then we had another displacement here to the upside from discount then price pushed up and that's another displacement price came back into discount filled the fair value gap and then it pushed up right so what we need to see here we need to see a displacement of some sort an expansion from this hourly consolidation that we are seeing right remember you're doing your hindsight study you are training your eye to see what the market will do right i'm just gonna pause it a bit right you see i've paused it the reason why i've paused it because i want to illustrate to you what has happened here so we have traded below these old laws right we have traded below those old laws right that's an expansion right so we have seen an expansion to the downside let me just zoom out a bit then i'm gonna continue with the play now that expansion is showing you that market wants to go lower you see what we have done also now what the market has done remember you'll be watching this as price uh, is moving you see we have traded again below another old low right we have traded below again that old low right here right so looking at that looking at this price action right as an informed trader once you see this displacement to the downside trading below old laws right what do these two old laws have in common and that's where the initial move to the upside originated so we've got internal range liquidity of sell stops here and those sell stops have been triggered in both instances when price traded lower right price has triggered the sell stops right so i'm gonna play i'm gonna play and now i'm looking for a structure that is gonna show me that okay now we need to go to the upside because right now what's happening sellers are being trapped right the market is said is trapping sellers right that's what you have to be in a position to understand you have to be in a position to tell yourself what the market is doing right so sellers are getting trapped 
at this moment in time we need to see a structure that is going to move price to the upside let me pause it a bit again and zoom out you see we have now reached this order block right there right you can see we have reached now an ob right we have reached a bullish order block i'm going to keep on playing right now that's an order block but price did not what i respect it prices continued to push to the downside now remember what i said here market is trapping sellers a lot of people will be selling here right because we've got a structure right there we've got this structure here see we've got that uptrend now what we need to see on current price action is price trading above a previously formed higher uh, lower high all right that's what we need to see right now so i'm going to pause all right so we now have this level here now this is the level that we need price to trade above why did i mark out that high not this one the reason is because this one is the one that found uh, resistance in a short term premium array all right this one did not reach for it so we now have buy stops above remember sellers getting trapped we now have buy stops above and then we make a run again for the old law we make a run for the old law now we need to see price trading above but with momentum from this level here we need momentum like a huge expansion to the upside from this level here that's what we need right now so some are going to say that ah, ivan you missed that whole move to the downside yes you'd have missed it because your narrative is you're looking for long opportunities and those long opportunities have been born from this movement here this whole expansion to the upside so you are looking for a market maker buy model market maker buy model price has to trade above this level but we need to see an expansion to the upside from here we need to see an expansion to the upside price keeps on going lower right let me let me pause it a bit zoom out you can see now eventually we have traded below that so now there's no reason now for price to come back below that we still have this old lower higher low right we still have that this level is very important for our long trades we need price to trigger trade above and then come back into discount and that discount level has to uh, create an array that we are going to utilize for our long opportunities you see this is the expansion i was looking out for right so you can clearly see here those sellers now are in a pickle they've been trapped look how it expands look how it expands look how market reacts to that uh price action of trading below that old law boom now those sellers are what are liquidated right the sellers that were trapped were right here you see those sellers that were trapped number one here and number two here those sellers are now trapped what do i mean by trapped these ones are no longer trapped they've already been liquidated because a lot of them would have we all know where retail traders put their stops they'll put their stops above old highs so now once we have price trading right above that level what do you see boom we've got displacement but in that displacement what do we have we've got now our discount areas we've got two of them inefficiency in the form of fair value gap 
we've got our hourly bullish order block right so now we need price to return to this level now when price returns to this level if you want to trade say this order block here right if you want to trade that order block the only trick part of it is you're going to have a bigger stop loss because you need to put your stop loss below this old low here right if you are going to go long here right because market will make a run for it and then eventually goes to the upside so if you're going to trade this uh, hourly bullish order block how then do you do that utilize limit orders right so we utilize say a buy limit order right a buy limit order order block uh, i'm just going to deal with estimates guys that h1ob opening price is 126 1.26563 uh, right uh, so we're going to utilize so you come to your new order window here you go to limit order we need the buy limit order right our entry price uh the open of this ob 126563 so we're gonna go one two six five six three right and then we need to specify our stop loss our stop loss is this old law why that old law because we don't expect price to trade below that level again whatever work whatever engineering that needed to be done is now complete because of this expansion here whatever engineering liquidity engineering the institutional traders we're trying to do here it has been achieved if we do trade now below it then market will continue going to the downside so our stop loss is going to be from here right this level to the old law that's going to be quite a big stop loss you're looking at about 60 60 pips right so what then do you do this is a first entry from an initial expansion to the upside right so we're gonna put our minus 60 right minus 60 but your risk has to be minimum because that would be the first entry normally the first entry from a, a displacement level right from a range that has been created uh, it normally trades even further lower before it eventually moves to the upside and before it eventually moves to the upside it's going to create another array right so we're going to use a lower volume right for the first initial entry right so if we enter the market right here and we're risking 60 pips right so we're gonna work with say uh, this old high here okay now I've got my stop loss defined take profit I'm gonna wait right? because I need a candle to close uh, higher then we have a down close candle that trades to the downside before I can specify a higher high right and also in terms of market structure you can clearly see how price is broken above that old higher low that I mentioned that we need to see price trading above it right now let's let's play right now you can see what has happened market structure is now complete our market maker buy model is now complete it's now a case of price reaching out for our entries so we've got this old high here coming in at one two six nine six two so initial take profit we're just gonna put it at one two seven all right though it's not good risk management because this is basically uh, less than one is to one but for class purpose I'm just gonna show you because eventually when price triggers this and you see an expansion to the upside you can move your stop loss right so I'm gonna go place order all right so why did I put my why does it why did you put the stop loss up here stop loss is supposed to be down there I must have made a mistake all right so we now have our buy limit order right then i'm gonna play boom now the limit order has been triggered 
and you can see it's a replay facility but you already have your trades down here right it's a, a replay facility for you to improve your eye skill the way you look at the market and see uh, uh, entry models being formed so right now we've got a buy model price has traded through our bullish order block but can you see it traded and pierced through so if we had put our stop loss below the lowest low of the two candles that form the ob that would have been a loss right so why did it trigger down here spread so let's play now that we are in a position see we need to see an expansion to the upside well let's wait for that candle to close let's wait for right you see now that candle has closed right these three bullish candles they have closed and price has created now another level of interest bullish order block with a fair value gap right so we've got a bullish order block with a fair value gap right here right we've got a bullish order block with a fair value gap now remember this is what you'll be doing now in uh, live data right if you're on h1 you wait for the h1 candle to close if you're on h4 you wait for the h1 the h4 candle to what to also close right so now we have another uh we now have another point of interest we now have another discount array that we can utilize to go to the upside now let me just grab my fips low to the high see the low to the high because market has now changed there's a change in market structure here if we didn't trade above that level market will continue going to the downside right so you can see here we've already had the first entry triggered right our first entry has been triggered and you can see down there that's the trade with our 0 0.5 uh, lots we are going to the upside now where is our take profit old high right there you can see there the zero percent uh level right so that would be the target for longs now this is the old high now that becomes a target that becomes a target for entries that you're going to take from this h1 bullish order block now this becomes your high probability bullish order block because market has already shown us uh, prices found what support inside a discount array right price has already shown us that it is found discount inside it is found support inside a discount array at that moment in time the first long position that you have took you can now move the stop loss and put it below that level the reason is that because you're now going to place another limit order so you're increasing your your risk because you now have a structure that's telling that's showing you clearly that market is going to go to the upside right so you place another buy limit order right, let me just make this bigger but this buy limit order now your entry point is going to be this ob here the opening price that's one two six 500 so one two six 500 see trader is perfect guys for trading it's the perfect platform that you can use for trading because you can clearly see how much you're going to risk how much you're going to lose mt5 does have that facility but only once you're already in a position right so one two six 500 right we are placing the second buy limit order the first one has already been triggered it's already an active position now this one now because it's a high probability ob depending on your risk management you make it two times your initial uh trade because the initial trade is now your was your guidance to see if that trade did not pan out then this second trade you're not gonna take it right so we've got a high probability ob you double the 
risk that you have placed on the first uh, on the first uh, first trade now your take profit remains the same because you're expecting price to trade above that high right your take profit remains the same but in this instance here you can even uh, use one two seven one three zero because there's inefficiency here so if price does trade above that you expect it to feel that inefficiency so take profit we're gonna put it at one two seven one twenty one two seven let's say one thirty it was 127 right and our stop loss on the second position right the stop loss on the second position take note the stop loss on the second position we are going to place it below this old low so we're talking of one two five nine six three just gonna say one two six let me just make it easy one two six then we place so you can see we've got orders and we've got positions orders and positions right so let me move my stop loss down here all right so this stop loss comes down here we are going to adjust it once the trade is active i'm going to continue with the replay unfortunately i cannot make uh, this uh, okay let's let me just make it a bit faster let me just make it a bit faster all right so you can see the price is now almost uh, reaching for the take profit of the first uh, position let's see if it does reach or it comes back to trigger the second limit order okay, we just missed it by a few pips we missed the take profit by a few pips if we come to position there you can see there is a trade right you can see the first position can you see the first position take profit has been reached price is traded above that old high now we're waiting for the second uh buy limit order because right now market is looking likely that it's gonna go to the upside probably after another uh, accumulation phase right so that's how you do your hindsight study look what happened there guys you see we had an initial expansion to the downside what was this trapping sellers again after clearing an old higher low price started consolidating and then it expands to the downside people are selling yet in actual fact market is just re accumulating in fair value what fair value do we have high probability bullish order block and you can see now that second buy limit order has been triggered the one with uh, standard lot size and we're anticipating it to fill up the imbalance right here this inefficiency here right there see i'm talking about this inefficiency that's the one i'm expecting i'm anticipating price to to fill up i'm gonna replay look how price does not even hang around this ob so that's how you utilize uh, the replay uh, facility you have to see the pdrs being formed uh, on the real life market data even if it doesn't pan out right even if it doesn't pan out but the fact that you have highlighted it and you have seen price react to that level there you go you can see the trade is complete that's how you trade even using live data that's how you trade you can see there those two positions that we we took right in a matter of so that's the first one uh where's the second one that's the second one you see there's nothing wrong in doing this hindsight study it only helps you to see during live market data now because once we look at uh, okay let me let me replay this so that it goes to the end let me do it quicker let me just do it quicker 
once once we have uh, this kind of understanding then it's gonna improve our trades right you can see we have now reached the current price this is the close last Friday uh, Friday closing price right once we are looking at this chart after the market has formed we will clearly see oh I missed an opportunity there right oh I missed an opportunity there everyone will do that everyone does that and you can see those uh, price actions once it is formed now with the replay facility it helps you now to identify and highlight those uh, market maker models so that you improve the way you're looking at uh, live data I'm gonna show you the last example unfortunately the video is gonna be a bit long I'm gonna show you a last example using say uh, what is this uh, this is uh, gold right so we're gonna go to replay right I'm gonna choose the level that I want to to start the replay facility from so I'm gonna say from this old high right from that old high uh, let me put it at uh, 500 right so we're talking of 20 December it loads the data right and then it starts the replay now we've got an old high that's gonna form right here once that old high in price moves away what do we need to see right we need to see an expansion to the downside taking out say old lows and creating a new low right once price creates a new low then that new low is our point of reference the new low will be our point of reference right so yeah we have created the high right we have created the high now we need to see an expansion to the downside once we see that expansion i'm gonna illustrate or explain to you why we were waiting for that expansion let's see let's see our price uh, reacts at this level because as it is right now we haven't got any clue yet that we want to go lower right we need to see a move to the downside right something like that this candle if it closes bearish that would be much better okay it closed bullish so we wait so you need to see an expansion because you're now anticipating say market maker sell model because you can see now price is struggling to go to the upside but there isn't a clear picture right now we don't have a clear uh, move to the downside right there's no clear move to the downside meaning buyers are what buyers are getting trapped right. buyers are getting trapped price should create a new low right price should create a new low we need price to create a new low right hindsight study you're looking for a market to give you clues that it wants to go lower so we relatively have equal lows right here i would say we've got relatively equal lows this should exp right this is what we need to see right you see this is what you need to see relative equal lows one two three right we have internal range liquidity of sales tops below that so we need price to create uh, a low right now it's showing us displacement to the downside what does this uh, signify if we do create a new low here this is basically redistribution right market would have completely redistributed in fair value for shorting opportunities right. so we need to see now price right you see now on the relatively equal laws that uh, that i highlighted we now have inefficiency right there right we now have inefficiency number one and then number two right here now this is on our intermediate short term uh, time frame h4 and we also have uh, bearish order block right there right so we've got our bearish order block right there right so we're gonna move 
right now we need to see price probably retracing protraction phase into one of those uh, premium areas for it to find resistance and move lower so you can see now price is crippling to the upside there's no clear uh, speed that's redistribution you see price signifying that it wants to go lower right now we already have a redistribution phase happening we already have a redistribution phase happening right here so this could be your initial target for shorting opportunities this could be your initial target for shorting opportunities from which level this high probability ob right now you can utilize this level here as a shorting opportunity but your stop loss has to be above that old high right so you go to our limit order we go sell limit right sell limit what entry time frame do we need to enter price we're looking at uh, so we've got this inefficiency here so sometimes you're going to get price not really filling up the inefficiency so this candles high here 2057 right so we can have our entry at 2057 but an entry with the 2057 price you need to have your stop loss most probably above this level here because you don't expect price to go all the way there after this expansion here you see we now have a dealing range right the range is from here to there that's our dealing range dealing range is the range that we are going to study to look for opportunities in this case shorting opportunities so our entry our first initial entry to the downside is going to be at 20 50 Seven. And we're gonna go with uh, 0 0.5 right 0 0.5 that's our first entry our take profit we're going to place it at this old low here 20 30 right so our take profit we're going to put it at 20 30 That's our take profit and our stop loss. You're gonna put it right above that 2080. Let's put our stop loss at 2080. So that's a sell limit. Then we place that limit. Okay, for some reason, this replay facility is putting my stop loss at the wrong. I said 2080 and it's putting at 2034. Right, so 2080, right, uh, 2080, that's our replay facility, right, that's our stop loss, then we continue, right, just gonna try to make it go quicker, and we see, so right now we've got a sale limit order placed uh, for shorting opportunity right now that sale limit order has been triggered right you can see price went all the way to that high probability bullish ob but since i was conservative i used uh, an entry of the high of this level here right once price has triggered your position right you can see how it created another law during that phase of time that's where your take profit goes right now with price coming and finding resistance inside this uh, this high probability bearish order block right your stop loss you need to readjust it right you reduce your risk right not entirely but you reduce because you now have a clear structure that market is going to go to the downside you now have a clear market maker sell model right i'm gonna play right Right. so you can see now price is expanded to the downside it's actually reaching out now for the tech profit I'm gonna replay and then market reaches its ultimate goal so now you can see here what i was illustrating is you know you have a level that you'd have 
highlighted. You see, that was the dealing range, and we had our premium RSD number one, fair value gap number two, high probability bearish order block. And that's where price found resistance and it expanded to the downside. So you can still use these levels here, right? You can still use the same levels for for entries. You can still use the same levels for entries. So that was 20, 60, 20, 57, right? We're going to place it again, the same trade. Okay, I'm just going to readjust here. But this time now you reduce your risk to that order block that provided your resistance uh, level, All right? So we're talking about this level here. I'm going to put it just a bit higher, right? And your take profit becomes the new law that has been formed, right? And then we play, right? You can see what I've done there, guys. I've utilized that high probability bearish order block for another entry, right? For another entry because I'm anticipating that if price does come back here, this level should provide also uh, should provide resistance and price should push to the downside. So now you're watching, you're waiting, right? Of course, you don't have to wait and sit on the chart. This is an H4 time frame. You can even go do whatever else that you're supposed to be doing. There's a lot of things to do in life. You only come back and check, say, after the H4 close, right? After the H4 close. You should, from say, from a chart reading perspective, this level here should provide, say, an expansion to the upside. Because that's a discount level. You should see an expansion to the downside, to the upside, sorry. Like something like that. Uh, but we need a bigger candle right you know, like that boom right so you can see the price is now triggered the second uh sell limit order all from this level here that was the initial dealing range right and you can see prior before it triggered the second uh limit order it created another low right so your tp expecting price to trade below that might not reach out for it but you clearly get something out of it you see out of that model that you have seen price for me now we need to see price move lower it can happen it cannot happen but the whole idea is for you to be in a position to see these structures forming it would have been nice if it can trade above to reach for the stop loss See? now you can see prices expanded all the way to the downside once you see that expansion from your resistance zone right you can now reduce your your risk you can't keep your stop loss up there you can now reduce your risk to something that you are comfortable with now but since this is gold we cannot really move it further lower because price will come and trigger and then continue the reason why i've just moved it to this lower here so that the trade is now risk free right so that the trade becomes risk free there you go so now price is ultimately reached for the take profit that's a clear market maker sale model in play two positions from a level that you'd have defined after a clear break in market structure after a clear signal to say market is moving lower so it's it's not that hard guys it's only a case of uh, understanding what you need to to see what you are looking out for it's a, a clear understanding of what you are looking out for what you need to to see in the market and uh, harnessing it and improving on it i'll try my best to give more examples like this but using live market data right i'll try my best so yeah the, that's uh, that's what i wanted to to share with you guys how you can utilize the replay 
uh, button facility on uh, C Trader to to be in a position to understand and see and define and conclude that okay this area is gonna provide support or this area is not going to provide support or resistance so I hope it has been insightful and I hope you have gained a bit uh, it, it's something that you have to keep working on right open any chat replay to any time frame to any time and date that you prefer and see uh, how market moves how a structure is broken whether to the upside or to the downside and then you can practice on that so yeah i'm going to provide a link for you to download uh, c trader below and then you can open your demo position and all that for you to to practice so yeah i wish you guys good luck and happy trading thank you folks